My life is good. I've been through the bush and the rain. Got no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. The size of money, more money you get. So bring you more problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. The bitch that they fucking they used to be yours. Okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. They showing me love. I know it'll be fake. It's cool. It's no problem. They love to live in the past. I'm busy. I get to a bag. Ooh, the car got a digital dash. Wouldn't be here if I sit on my ass. Now I'm in first. Used to finish it last. Remember when they used to sit and just laugh? Teacher felt me should have pissed in the glass. When I'm in Texas, I drip and I splash. Never care what it costs. Ooh, I've been busy making boss moves. I remember they were sleeping on me. Now they take the clock alarm off. Snooze. I told her say off shoes. In the clothes, I need all new. Pussy dry, I need all new. Sienna panties and I brought her boots. Can't find me because I lost you. I did it on purpose. Get way ahead and it's really working. Get me some bread and you see me splurging. Straight to the bed, let me see some work. It better be worth it. Better on IG, but you Yeah, yeah. I'm on a high speed. Text with police and it's good. I've been through the bush and I really got no problems. The size of money, more money you get. It bring you more problems. The bitch that he fucking, it used to be yours. Okay, ain't no problem. They showing me love. I know it'll be fake. It's cool. It's no problem. No problem. No problem. My life is good. I've been through the bushes. No money got no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. The size of money, more money you get. So bring you more problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. The bitch that they fucking, they used to be yours. Okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. They showing me love. I know it'll be fake. It's cool. It's no problem. Right now, the DJ Epps and Friends Show. Weeknights at 10 p.m. with live turntable mixes and interviews. It's time to turn up your smart device and crank it loud. Hey, yo, check this out. It's your boy, Diddy. As we proceed to give you what you need, we are the world famous, the supreme, grand imperial. Hey, yo, Epps, let these motherfuckers know. Father God, we first want to take this time to say thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for love. Thank you for those who are tuned in to this live at this moment. We pray, Lord, that whoever is tuned in right now, that you bless them. Allow them to have an enjoyable time. Allow them to be able to come on here and not worry about problems and not worry about what is going on, but we know that you are taking care of it. At this moment, at this time, allow people to feel loved, to feel peace, and to smile and enjoy. For you said, do not be weary of doing good. So I pray that everybody sows good and reaps good. Encouraging one another and looking out for one another. In your holy name we pray. Amen. This is DJ Epson Friends. Let's go. <laughs> What up, everybody? It's your boy, DJ Epps. Happy Tuesday. What's going on, man? Uh, check this out. Um, today's a special day. Um, we, got, uh, 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 um, we got a couple of things we want to talk about. We want to um, um, we want to send our salute to a certain family um, member that be coming to my live all the time. We're going to do that around 1030. But we also got uh, four from Black Ink Crew, Chicago, going to be in the building in just about another minute. So y'all get ready for that, man. Other than that, tonight, I'm going to be in Fort Lauderdale for Taco Tuesdays at Oba Lounge. You don't want to miss out on that, man. Shout out to Baziolo Crew. Shout out to my man Sam, the whole crew. We're going to be in that Fort Lauderdale area. It's going to be a problem, all right, man? And uh, this Saturday, man, Goody Mob is coming to Miami. Come hang out with me. And we're going to skate and sip, all right? I'm going to be honest with you, your boy don't do neither. I don't sip on nothing, I don't skate. But we're inviting everybody to come have a good time and skate. And, 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 and yo, when do you ever have a great skate party, you know what I mean? So you may want to come check that out, man. Uh, the skate party is going to be right there. You see it right there. There's a land park, skate land park. It's going to be crazy, man. So please go ahead and check in on that. And, and, and come hang out with your boy DJ Epps and Goody Mob. Perform that wreck. You know what I mean? Yeah. Four! Big dog, what up, man? What's, What's up, going eight? on, homie? What's good, man? <laughs> Everything good? What? Man, you look like you cold in the motherfucker over there. <laughs> man, I'm finna catch a flight to Miami. <laughs> I'm finna come to Miami, bro. Fuck this. I don't like this. <laughs> Everybody, share the live, share the live right about now. Buy a badge if you want to support your boy. I got Black Ink 
own, Black and Crew, Chicago's own, four in the building with me today. So we're going to chop it up right quick. And um, we're going to talk about everything. All right, man. Yo, four. so how cold is it in Chicago? Because it's a different type of cold than New York or Germany. Or, you know what I mean? For sure. I can barely hear you. It's kind of, it's kind of, can you hear me? It's a little low. I can hear you. I can't. I can barely hear you though. Really, really, really. Oh, you. Well, you on the earpod? That's probably no. Why. I took the earpods off. I took the earpods off first, and then oh, I put them back on the same shit. Oh snap! Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me see if I can turn on my mic and, and get loud on your ass right quick, man. Um. Yeah, man. Excuse me for a sec. Yeah, we got four. I need everybody to share the live. Share the live. Share the live. You know what it is, man. Yeah, what up, what up, man? What up, man? We tapped in, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And shout out to my man Mel, too. Mel, King Buckley. He yeah, in the shout building out to my dog, well. Buck, man. King Buck, man. Yeah, that's my dog. <laughs> you know, you know, we it, randomly, though, we, we went to the same high school. Did y'all play ball? Did y'all? Whoa, no, whoa. no, so, so, so I played ball, but, like, I, I played more street ball. He actually, you know, he did the real thing. He hooped, you know what I mean? So I was just always in support of him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Can you hear me better? Yeah, 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 it worked. All right, cool. So yeah, man, shout out to Mel King Buckley, great artist, and sure. you know, you know, you kind of surprised me too, man. You know what I mean? I, I I didn't know you you get down in the booth like that. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I appreciate it, man. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm not sure when you was able to get in tune and check it out, but um, yeah, I've been I've been doing music before I, before I was really tattooing, like really before the whole TV show thing. Got you, got you. We gonna get into that, man. I just played a new joint right before we entered. The no problem, you know what I mean? Love, 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 for sure, well, for sure. Talk, talk to me about that record. I mean, for me, like when I made that record, it was just kind of like, you know, it was, a, it was, it was kind, it was kind of like a, a positive and a negative thing. Like whatever it is you got going in life is like, you know, you can get over it. Like no problem. Like everything gonna be cool. Like you know what I'm saying? Like whatever. Like you can't control certain things that's going on. So it's just more so like you gotta just kind of accept it. You know what I mean? Like. It's like it's on you to how it's on you to decide how long you gonna stay in the funk about something. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's more so like yeah, you know, no problem. Let's get it done and get it over with. Like like what's gonna happen in life shouldn't stop you. You know what I mean? We are gonna have roadblocks, but we gotta keep it going regardless. Got you, got you. So when you started, um, Q, what yeah. up? So what? When you started your 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 career with the music, that was always um, your name for, or did you yeah, have like yeah, a yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It was well, it was actually originally it was metaphor. You know what I mean? But then I just, you know, cut it cut it short for it. Got you, got you. In a little bit, we're gonna get into that new joint pressure too, man. So hold tight on that. Um so so what what made you decide that you know you wanted to get into this game called hip hop? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? If there's are you are you running around with any artists in Chicago out there? Like, you know what I mean? I mean, um, I mean I run I run I run with a I run with my own team, you know what I mean, but I support, you know what I mean, of course. I know a lot of Chicago artists, of course. You know what I mean? Um, you know, um, I mean, just worldwide. I like I, I network with artists in general. You know what I mean? But I come from the era of like where lyrics matter. Like I used to battle rap a long time ago. Like literally, me and my me and my homeboys in high school, we used to go go around, you know, to different high schools, battling whoever was the best artist, wherever they was from. You know what I mean? So mm. you know, of course, back then it was no social media. You know what I mean? You wasn't streaming like that, so everything was like you know CDs and. We was passing out and doing whatever we had to do to get our name heard. So now it's just been pretty much just kind of keeping up with what's going on with the generation. You know what I mean? As the, as the hip hop has been evolving and staying uh, relevant, you know what I mean? And consistent at the same time. As you're growing, are, are you having a hard time? I, I don't want to say having a hard time, but do you notice the difference of how people promote their music back in the days versus what they're doing now? Yeah, 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 for sure. Like, you know, it's crazy because there's still people out here, like if I'm in a mall or if I'm outside, whatever it is I'm at, um, I still see people walking up with CDs and I'd be like, yo, where am I going to listen to this at? Like, you know, the cars we drive now, they, they're not, there's no CD players in them like that. You know what I mean? Unless you're driving an old school, you know what I mean? Something like that. But I'd be telling people like, man, you, you know, I'm not going to purchase a CD that I can't listen to. You yeah. know, everything's now on YouTube or Apple music, et cetera. You know what I mean? So, you know, but, um, you know, I've been, I've been, you know, you just got to kind of get hip. You know I mean, that's why I feel like, you know, um, even with me, like I still have a hard time kind of adjusting, but that's why it's like you have to have a team to help you, you know what I mean, to, to uh, you know, help you capitalize, you know what I mean, uh, to cap to, to catch the audience that you that you still, you know what I mean, want to gain from the streaming audience and uh, you know, online basically, you know what I mean. That yeah. some people don't, some people don't have that that marketing or the, they don't know how to promote it like that. 
with the, with the, when they come down to the Facebook uh, advertising and you know things like that. So you got to just find the right people. I would say to um, get get in, get in tune with what you got going on to help help you succeed and stay relevant. And I noticed you're running with one of my boys, Half. Uh -huh, yeah, Half. That's the homie, man. I've been rocking with Half for years, bro. Like I met him when uh, he was he was uh, he was doing he was doing a campaign. He was doing a run with T Grizzly, and we just been yeah. building from there. Yeah, Hef is a good guy, man. He knows how to work records, man. You got a good guy on your team right there, man. Big shout man, out to love, him. Man, that's my brother, man, for sure, man. I, I didn't even know I didn't even know y'all knew each other. That's crazy. But like, when, I, when I told him, when I told him, he spoke super high, super highly of you, bro. Super high. Oh man, appreciate that, man. Like Hef, you know what I mean? When it comes to like breaking music out here, and then I want to touch base on that, like DJs, you know what I mean? Hef knows like that's one of the important um, things or um, tools that he needs for him to get his records out there is the DJs, you know what yep, I mean? Yep, yep. So, you know, with that being said, for like whatever you need, man, you, you, like between Mel and Hef alone, send me those new records so I can make sure I break them for you. I got you over here in Miami, nah, all around I, the world. Hey, I appreciate it, bro. You know, it's crazy. I almost moved out there last year, bro, just right before the, the pandemic and all that. Oh, well, I can't say last year, but 2020. Yeah, you know, but um, yeah, I, I almost moved out there, bro, because um, what's that strip club called? Uh, fuck, don't tell me. Um, ah! but, 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 you know, it's called it's called booby trap, booby trap. Booby trap. Ah! Booby trap. Listen, listen, listen I, I went, bro. I swear, look, I went to booby trap, bro. I went to booby trap. I'm, I'm, I'm low key. I'm chilling. I'm just, you know. Yeah, and the uh, the owner, she noticed I was there. She she took care of me. They they took me to the DJ booth. They they dropped my records. The strippers going crazy. And they 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 treated me like family out there. So I'm like, damn, like okay. I took it as a sign. Like man, I need to come out here and tap in. You know what I mean? So you know what I mean. It, it's still on. It's still on a to do list. So you know, you never know, man. I'm I'm trying to get out there uh, more. So we can definitely lock up. You know what I'm saying? Lock Man, in. yo, you you hit the right spot. And then when you come back, I'm gonna take you to some other spots. You know what I mean? Okay. They so call that. they call that they call that the trap, booby trap. They call that the trap. So yeah. yeah. They they do show love. That's a family over there, and I'm glad they showed you love, man. Uh, yeah. Your boy, your boy Caesar be sneaking around here sometimes. You nah. know what I mean? He, yeah, for sure, for sure. I, I, <laughs> I be getting him a bag. You know what I mean? To come host some of my parties and everything, yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully we okay. can do the same thing for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, hey, I love, man. We locked in now, so you know we fam at this point. Definitely. So you 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 started, you know, your artist situation, mm -hmm. and then you dis you you found a love for you know, being a tattoo artist, correct? Crazy. Uh, yes, that's true. But um, I stumbled into tattooing, honestly. Like, it was nothing I was trying to do. So what a lot How of How do you don't... stumble into that? Just like... I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Come, tell you. come so, here. Let me, let me, let so, me put this so, ink on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, nah, for real, for real. I, um, I was I was with my brother. You know what I mean? My brother, Don, who's a part of the show as well. Um. I was I was at my homie, Jake Crib, who um, he was, he was an uh, artist that was already doing my tattoos. And so we was, it was one New Year's, bro. You know, it's cold out here. So we was bored. And so my, my brother told me to tattoo him. You know what I'm saying? And then we joking and she's like, I knew I could draw already and all that. Yeah. So, but, um, but before, hold on, wait, before I even tap into that, before I was doing tattoos, I was, I, I had a contract with Nike and I was designing shoes for Nike. So I did one of my designs on my brother. He wanted me to like to do, do a design on him. Dope. So I didn't know how I really what, what to do like that. So, you know what I mean? I'm digging in the skin, like you know, I ain't, I ain't knowing. I'm thinking like the the, the 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 more the ink is in your skin, the, the more it's gonna stay. Like you know, I'm going super hard with the needle and shit. Um, but that's how I came across tattooing, and then um, it was the domino effect because you know he played ball, so the girl he was dating she hooped too. So when she saw the tattoo, all her her whole team wanted tattoos. And mind you, I didn't even know what I was doing, bro. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even have my own equipment, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you know, it was it was just super crazy, but um. It was a practice make perfect situation. It happened fast, but I had a clientele fast, and um, even just for me customizing shoes and things like that, I already had a I already had a following for that. Right. Uh, from high school and then out. So um, I had um, just kind of transitioned everybody over to what I was doing. You know what I mean? And then oh. they just you know just kept evolving from there. And then you know then now mag happened. So um, you 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 learn how to tap to you got into the situation, and then. Black Ink Crew started coming out. Like, how did you link up with with with, you know, the Black Ink Crew, the Black yeah. Ink Crew, um, uh, um, I know you know, brand. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's crazy is see, like what a lot of people. Okay, so what a lot of people don't know is so it was like like when we first when we first 
when it, I think off season one, like when it was just a teaser or a little, when the promotion started, we mm-hmm. was getting a lot of backlash because everybody thought we was trying to be like, you know, Caesar over there in New York. Mm-hmm. But what people don't know is that this is the this is the thing. So this is the first we was the first first group to franchise out of the New York show, right? Right. So what they did was it's Black Ink. So the shop is Black Ink, right? Viacom, VH1, they own Black Ink Crew. Mm-hmm. So Black Ink Crew was able to, you know, that was that was the brand they was able to, you know, uh, spread out the same way like you see a love and hip hop, Atlanta, love and hip hop, LA, all that. So that's mm-hmm. what they was doing. You know what I mean? Um, it was just so early in the game. It was new to people that was already in love with the New York show. They wasn't giving us a chance until I think our first episode aired, and then we have to respect. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, we actually knew Caesar and Duchess at the time when they was dating. They used to always come up to the shop because we already had a relationship with them. So mm-hmm. they didn't even know we had the show, like, like, because network hasn't even had. They didn't tell them at the time. Mm-hmm. So they was like, man, you know, just hold it. We gonna we gonna let them know. You know what I mean? Um, but. Luckily, we already had a relationship with those guys. So when we flew, we had to fly to New York, of course, meet everybody. It didn't feel weird, but we already had somewhat of a relationship, you know what I mean, with some of the some of the people that was already a part of the show. Right place, right time type of situation as well. Yeah, 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 honestly, honestly. And honestly, like me, it was nothing I was really like looking for, but it just kind of like, it literally fell in our lap and we just took advantage of it, you know? What, when 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 you when you doing your tattoos, do you like, you think about some lyrics? Do you Do you mix the two? Like, do you think about your, doing some so, lyrics while you write, or when when you write uh, well, lyrics? Yeah, yeah. So, 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 what I do is sometimes, um, it depends. But sometimes, what I do is this: like, if I if I'm you know if I got a beat or something, I'm, I know I'm gonna go to the studio this week. I, I'm listening to the beat as I'm tattooing, you mm-hmm. know, trying to come up come up with a song. Or it's either that, or if I got a new record, you know what I mean. So what I do is I, I'll I'll put it into rotation. Like, let's say if I'm playing like you know, some some YouTube playlist or whatever, I throw my song in there as well. And then I see the reaction from the client. Like, it's either they go Shazam it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or yeah. they go ask me, like, yo, what's this? Who this is? So that that was my way of, like, growing my fan base without putting it on people. You know what I mean? Like, hey, yo, check me out. Listen to this. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I feel like when I'm putting put you in that position, I'm giving you an option to not like it. You know what I mean? I'd rather just put you in a position where you can catch the wave when, it, when there's other uh, songs around it that kind of complement it. And now yeah. you're like, yo, this is dope. You know what I mean? So that's that, that's pretty much what I was doing. Yeah, that's a great way to promote you yourself mm-hmm. secretly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get a get a head yeah, yeah, yeah. bob and be like, okay, the nigga fuck it with it. You know what I yeah, mean? That, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Literally, bro. Cause like that was the thing. I never really wanted to mix like tattoos and rap. Like, even though it's part of they're both part of the culture, but I just kind of felt like it was gonna be cheesy. Like I didn't really know how to really market it at the time. Like, no, but I used to like I honestly never like people I, I kept the two like separated. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the people I mess with with the music is just that. But then I it slow slowly over time it started to clash together. So now it's just kind of it is what it is. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's the best of best of both worlds, like tattoo artists and you know, rap artists. What what what's one of your worst experiences as a tattoo artist? Like what what could go wrong for a tattoo artist besides lot, drawing man, lot, drawing bro. the wrong thing or spelling the wrong word? Oh, a lot, bro, a lot, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so listen, I'm gonna tell you something crazy, right? <laughs> Literally, like, like I've been tattooing now, I would say about a good 10, 11 years, uh-huh. on and off, solid. But um, it's been only five times this happened, so I'm, 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 I'm proud to say. But um, some people literally pass out on you, bro. I have seizures. I'm talking about seizures, bro. Like, wow. they're like swallowing their tongue, like, like everything. Like seriously, you know what I mean? And um, you know, you have to know how to, you know. Uh, proceed after that, you know, the procedure and everything. Like, it's crazy. Like, people have four strokes, like, and it's not, it's nothing that you're doing wrong. It's just, like, they don't, some people don't know, like, how to breathe, where they're holding breath, like, they're overthinking, like, you know, it's, it's, it's really crazy, bro. So, you almost like a doctor, you know what I mean? <laughs> you're tattooing, bro. It's, 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 it's real medical procedures, bro, like, that take place. So, you know, um, you just got to be careful, you know what I mean? It's just a learning experience. But I, honestly, like, at one point, bro, this was, like, 20, yeah, 2020, during the pandemic and stuff was happening, yeah. I had two seizures in a week, bro. Like no, three, three, three seizures in a week, bro. And it was so crazy that it happened because it, it never happens like that. You know what I mean? And it happened, yeah, bro. You're probably it, like, what the hell, bro? It's to the point where I was like, you know, what? I don't even want to tattoo no more because it's like if I got to deal with this, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to put the art on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it was, just, it, it got to that point. You know what I mean? But, but yeah, bro, like. I'm I'm glad that I didn't I didn't haven't had a, a mass amount of people that go through that experience, but 
It happens, bro. People throw up, they turn blue. You know what I mean? It's, it's crazy, bro. That pressure is crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. And, and this is crazy. This is what you know is look, when you a tattoo artist, like if there's some people that's tattooing that's, that's watching us tattoo, they are, they know, they don't know what I'm talking about. Like if you if you're tattooing somebody, bro, and you hear somebody say, yo, you got some water, bro. That's that's when it's over with. You know something wrong. They looking for water. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Oh. It's over with. <laughs> bro, by the time by the time you go get the water, they already they already having a seizure, bro. Like Man. it's quick because they're sweating, they're sweating, bro. They drenched. They don't know. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't even know what's happening, bro. Damn, damn. I'm not a tattoo guy, man. I'm. I was never a tattoo. You all got one? I do have one. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you I got do one. have one, <laughs> and the one is special. And matter of fact, I was told that it's the worst place to have a tattoo or to do a tattoo because of the bone. Oh shit. Okay. Oh, you got like a ring. Wifey, okay. wifey, when we oh, got wait, married. Wait, wait, that's, wait, yeah, that, yeah, it's locked in forever. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That was quick, though. I know. No, finger tattoo, finger tattoo do hurt, especially like the ones like in the corner right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I already know. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that hurt. But it, luckily, you got some some quick that didn't take too long. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was on the chair like this, and then they, they played uh, BET <laughs> Rap City or whatever I was watching. I was entertained. So, you know, I was like, oh, I was feeling it, though, because it was it was on the bone. So right. I put I put my wife's name, Claudia. She put hers, Epps, you know what I mean? Because I felt like I'm as a DJ, I, I first of all, I don't I don't wear rings at all. You know what I mean? Right, as right, a right, DJ, right. I'm always moving around and and I think my rings will slip off and fall off. So for sure, I was like, for sure, for sure. I was yeah. like, let me get let me get the time. I'm gonna I'm I'm use that theory too when I when I get married. I'm gonna use that theory. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, look, I don't DJ, man. My tattoos, I wear gloves all day, gonna mess it up, man. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yo, for hold on one second, man, because I gotta let everybody know about that pressure. I gotta let them know about that Yo, pressure. Man. Yeah. Brand new four. Yeah, out of <laughs> Chicago. Pressure. You heard it first, uh, DJ Epps. I've been under pressure. Going, going through, through the pressure, pressure trying, trying to keep it all together. together. 99, 99 rounds, please. I don't, I don't need, need no extra. extra. Life experience like to teach you better than some message. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
thought it was going to what go down. Like I was going to have my mm-hmm. child. Like I would get married first and do it. Like you know, but it, it happened when it happened. I feel like God don't make no mistakes. So I had to adjust. Like you don't know, have to figure it out. But like man, like man, that's my biggest motivation now, man. Like like man, I, I see that kid. I get you know, I get I get emotional. You know what I mean? I'm like man. I, I can't. I can't go. I got. I got to keep going for you. You know what I'm saying? So that's absolutely you know I mean? right. We need each other. It's one of them. You know what I mean? It's a bind. So that's you know I mean? absolutely I, right. Yeah. So it's a beautiful thing. I'm enjoying it, honestly. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and everything go with Nina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nina, yeah, yeah. She just left the studio. She actually just came and got him. Uh, I, I just had him. Uh, she was recording earlier, so um, you know, I, I like I said, we be swapping it out, like whatever's. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever scheduling, like, I, I always, mm-hmm. I never give a hard time. Like, you know, I'm, I'm always going to be available for my son, and, I, and it's the same with her. So, you know, it's really about just making, you know, making it easy on each other, man. It ain't, it ain't work all the stress, you know what I'm saying? It's a yeah. blessing. I noticed your birthday coming up, man, around that spring break area, man. How's your yeah, turn yeah. up for your birthday be, man? So, 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 you know what's crazy <laughs> is somebody actually, crazy you brought, brought, brought that up, somebody actually literally just booked me for spring break Miami. So I will be out there. <laughs> yeah, somebody. Okay. Somebody just hit me. I'm gonna send you the dates in the DM. Uh, but yeah, they definitely just send me uh, uh, a booking. Uh, so we just we gonna, we gonna be taking care of that real soon. Ah, right, do that, yeah. man, and we'll pull up. You know what I mean? We come celebrate nah, sure. with you. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm, I'm in the gym now, man. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to make you know what I'm saying burn these calories so I can be out there shirt off, man, performing that pressure. <laughs> Eating that Chicago pizza out there, that deep, that deep dish. Man, yeah, 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 yeah. We had pizza yesterday, man. I'm trying to sweat this. I got I, I, when I leave here, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the gym. Every time I go to Chicago, party. man, I got, I got, I, I don't know why. I just got to touch a deep dish out there, man. It's just, man. It's so you know, it's crazy. I'm, you know, I'm more of a thin crust type of dude. But you, but you, you say why? Because like you can eat like the, the uh, Giordano's, correct? Right? Correct. That's, that's, that's the yeah. That's the deep dish, right? But yeah. the thing is, it's like. You get a deep dish pizza, bro. You, I only can eat one slice, bro. I can't eat the rest <laughs> of the pizza, bro. So I might as well get a thin slice, thin crust, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and I, I can enjoy the whole pizza. You well, know what I'm you, uh, us East Coast guys, we all about the thin crust, you know what I mean? So when I go into <laughs> Chicago, I got I just got to, you know personal, what I mean? Personal, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be back out there in Chicago very soon, man. Shout to uh, uh, Ocean out there. Shout to my man, 850, yes, the whole crew, you know what I mean? Uh, Cajun out there, you know what I mean? So I'm going to come see you guys very soon. You guys, you guys. Yeah, yeah, and come fuck with you guys and 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 and, and shout to my man uh, Gotti as well. Um, you, you wait, yo. wait, come, 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 with, come in the summer though. You know, it's cold, man. Like, oh, you know, no, no, I'm, no, no. You, no. Probably, you probably don't even own one of these, man. Nah, <laughs> listen, you don't got to tell me twice. It'll be around the summertime. I'm from New York. I'm from Harlem. So I left the cold for a reason. So I already man. know. <laughs> hey, you know it's crazy. I just look. I I I moved out of Chicago last year, December, around the same time. Yeah. Um, like right before New Year's, I moved to Dallas. I um, was out there for a minute. Um, and I like like when I had my, of course, my son was born, so I had to come back. You know what I mean? And all that. So I'm usually back and forth now. So like you know, I'm home, but I'm definitely not too, not too proud of this weather. You know. What I mean, mm-hmm. so yeah. I mean, every day I'd be ready to leave. Like, man, bro, I just moved out of here. Why am I here? Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but, you know, it's all, I guess, you know, everything happens for a reason. I figured out. For, before you get up out of here, man, is there anything you want to promote? You want to let everybody know to look out for? Yeah, 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 for sure, man. Uh, new EP on the way. You know what I mean? Um, it's coming soon. Like, so I'm going to make sure you have it first. Uh, we just putting together the track list and finalizing a couple things. Um, Word. Uh, foreplay. Foreplay, the, the EP is on the way. You know what I'm saying? Foreplay, be looking out for that. Pressure definitely would be on there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, as one of the leading, uh, you know, singles up to the project. So, you know what I mean? Awesome. We'll make sure you had it. Yeah, we're putting together some dope listening parties. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we can put one out uh, out, out there in Miami, too. Ah, uh, man, that's going to be a, a play. We're going to make that happen. Please. Too nah, I love that. I love that. I love nah, that. Definitely. Definitely, man. Everybody, please follow my guy for ever. I follow I'm... my dog F's, too, man. Yes, sir, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Man. Each yeah. other. Chicago to Miami. This is the connect, man. And we want to thank our boy, King Buckley, one of the hottest MCs yes, out there, too. Um, look out King. for him. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be out in Vegas right now getting back up with him, man. So, ah. you know, man, I'm on him, man. I'm going to call him after we get off this time. We get off live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, man. Yo, four, once again, from one brother to another, from Chicago to Miami, back and forth. Thank you for coming on my show. Um, whatever you need, man. I'm a phone call away. You know my number, man. I love for sure. I got you, bro. Uh, before I get off, man, I see a couple of my producer homies on here, man. Shout out to my homie Ryan Connor. He uh, definitely will be on the project. My uh, homeboy Lee Day, he will be on the project. Uh, yeah. And uh, my my Chicago-based producer Rosart. So you know what I mean. Shout out to those guys for helping me out with the project. And uh, 
Yes, sir. Like I said, it's coming soon, man. You'll have it before anybody. Definitely. And congratulations on your newborn, man. God bless you, you for You God be bless. easy, all right? Yes, sir. Next time. You know what it is. Word, Word up, man. DJ Epson Friends, the number one DJ show is going down right here. Monday to Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern. That's my man, Ford, from Black Egg Chicago Crew. Uh, everybody that was sharing the live, I appreciate y'all, man. Continue sharing the live. Buy a badge if you want to, man. Um, we're about to bring my man A.V. in the building. A.V., you ready? Before I bring A.V. in the building, I want to show you guys something right quick. Um, you know, uh, and, and I don't know if they're in the building, but it's, damn, I wish. I, okay, this is a message I woke up to this morning. You can't really see it. But basically, you know, when I started uh, Instagram Live and doing a show Monday to Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern, I uh, built a fan base. I built a network that you know, no other DJ has done. You know what I mean? That's why I've been consistent with it. And this morning I woke up, and big shout to Fire Chase. As a matter of fact, speaking about Chicago, they out of Chicago. You know, big shout to Gina Baby. Gina Baby, rest in peace. She had passed away recently, um, a couple of days ago. Uh, you know, she, 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 you know, she, she had, you know, breathing problems. And she passed away, and she was on my live constantly watching me as this was her favorite show of all time. She was always in here, man. And one thing I never got to see, it was her face. I never got to know her, know nothing. But, she, you know, she was just like a, 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 a fan that was always in my DJ booth that I always acknowledged. And I just want to say to her family, man, you know, we send our condolences and all that. Gina, baby, rest in peace. I just want to say thank you for always being in my life, always supporting me, always, uh, uh, you know, just, just, you know, enjoying my show, enjoying my, my, my interviews, enjoying me spinning on the turntables, healing the world. Gina, baby, we, we are, you know, rest in peace. You know what I mean? Sleep in peace. Fire Chaser crew, everybody in Chicago that rep Gina Baby, um, you know, we, we, we always going to be family, even though we don't really know each other like that, but we do know each other like that. It's always, excuse me, it's always going to be family, man. Um, yeah, it, 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 it took, it, it, I woke up to like, wow, you know, why did this happen? You know what I mean? You know? Oh, all right, man, let's just continue the vibe, man. My man A.V. in the building. Uh, Alpha Villains, he does this every Tuesday with me. Hey, B, what up, man? <clears throat> what's poppin', what's poppin', bro? Everything's good, man. Um, you know, had to, had to, you know, send our condolences to, to, um, some great supporters that be watching us at all times, you know what I mean? And it's <clears throat> unfortunate that, you know, I, I caught a, a bad news, uh, for Gina Baby that's always watching us, our show and, and supporting and, and buying badges and, and just, you know, just there, you know what I mean? And one thing, one thing that I, I was uh, told by somebody, I probably even put a post up, was that it's incredible how the people you don't know are your biggest supporters, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, they, they just, you know, 90% of your supporters is coming from somewhere that you don't even know them. You may not even see them. Um, are, are you are you dealing with stuff like that too when you're on your on your YouTube live and absolutely, abs absolutely, man. You know, uh, our condolences, like you mentioned, man, piggyback on that. Condolences to, you know, the, the young lady who passed the supporters, man. You know, it's a testament. You know, we all gonna go. <clears throat> and, you know, God has a plan for us, man. And you know, when you are in the limelight, you pay a price, right? The price of to become an influencer, to move the crowd, to move the world. It's not an easy task. Mm -hmm. And we don't a lot of times when we put when we fall on our sword as men or performers in general, influencers, mm -hmm. um, you 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 don't know who you're impacting. You don't know the lives that you're changing, you don't know the the struggles and the things that we help people get through by doing what we do. You know, when we started, when you started this journey, you decided to bring me in the lineup. It was a lot of uncertainty last year, year and a half ago. You know what I mean? Right. COVID niggas didn't know how they was going to earn. Niggas didn't know if there was going to be a party. 
Niggas didn't know what the next day was holding, and you were able to do that. And um, you know, we so you know a lot of people we're, we're, we're impacting a lot of lives. So that's the important thing. That's number one. Number two, it's unfortunate. You know, what I'm saying me being new to this shit. Um, you know, a lot of my my friends, family, it's crickets. You know, what I'm saying, and you know, the truth, unfortunately doesn't bring people together. It actually separates the pe- everybody. You know, the truth, you know what I mean? When I talk my truth, when I talk about real shit, um, it, 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 it has caused a divide. You know what I mean? With friends, family, and um, I had to make a choice. You know what I mean? I had to either embrace the truth or live a lie and side with people that just wasn't living the way that I wanted to live or I felt that was the right way. So right. support's never going to come from your friends and family, unfortunately. Right. Um, they they only gonna reap the reward, but you gotta stay as a man. And anybody who believes in themselves, you gotta stay focused, man, and do what 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 makes you feel good. Because you never know who you're impacting, whose lives you're touching. Right, 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 right. Um, with that being said, Gina, baby, rest in peace. Shout out to the Fire Chaser Chicago crew, uh, the firefighters out there that support Chicago and then help lives out there as well. Um, also. You know, uh, let's segue into rest in peace to Bob Saget. Famous comedian. Man. We didn't see that coming. Um, let me let me let me just give you a quick uh story. So me and I took wifey out. It was date night this weekend, you know what I mean? Took her out to the improv. We went to go visit our boy, funny guy Finesse. Finesse Mitchell from Saturday Night Live and, and HBO and all of that, you know what I mean? And and Finesse is a good friend of Bob Saget and the minute he got off stage, we 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 just we we both saw that news all over social media, and and it just it just impacted the comedians all around the world, and, and you know what I mean, and, you know, Mister Full House himself, you know what I mean, <laughs> like yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, you know, like I said, man, death comes in threes, man. You know, rest in peace to Betty White, rest in peace to Sidney Poitier. Rest in peace, Bob Saget. You know what I mean? You know, right, I, you know, right. we all know that death comes in threes, man. And it's unfortunate. I mean, theoretically, Bob Saget was 65 years old. Not not young, but not old. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. the first thing you hear about when, when a celebrity dies is, you know, was there any foul play, any drugs involved, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the autopsy has yet to be to be done. But, you know, for the most part, there seems there's, there, there wasn't any foul play. And, you know, there was just a laundry list of people having positive things to say about him. You know what I mean? Right. And what I liked about Bob Saget, too, he was very versatile. A lot of people didn't know that he had a real raunchy side to him. You know what I mean? He was America's dad. He was up there with Bill Cosby and shit like that. I used to love Full House. And he always, he made, you know what I mean? He made me like say, damn, you know, I wanted, I wanted to be a dad like that. Or, you know what I mean? I, my, I wish my dad was like that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, you know, the good ones always get taken. And, um, you know, at least his legacy will live on. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like I said, man, we all know this, man, but life is very short. You never know. You never know what's going to happen, man. So you got to make every day count. And if some, if you love somebody, tell them. You know what I mean? If, you, if you're remorseful for somebody, you know, you want to say apologize, apologize. Because if you're holding hate inside your heart, the person's not suffering. It's actually you, the one that's suffering. So sometimes you got to forgive people. For yourself, not for them. Yeah. So you gotta release that shit. Man, I have a hard time learning um, forgiving people for yourself and not for them. I, it's I, tough, I, man. It, it's it's a very tough situation. Uh, big shout to Prism Prosper yeah. in the building. King peace, Afi peace. in the building. King Afi, what salute, up, salute, my nigga. Zone peace, Music peace. in the building. Four time yeah. Tokyo. Uh, a lot yeah, of people yeah, yeah. in from everywhere, man. We appreciate the love. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shed a lot. Uh, uh, buy a badge um, today's show wow. I want to give props to Brandstar uh, you know what I mean they, <clears throat> they, they they linked me up with the massage gun <laughs> the massage those are good gun. man listen, those are really good listen yeah. look don't, yeah. laugh, don't laugh at the design of it but this right yeah, here yeah, yeah. it's multi use but we're going we gonna to keep it clean <laughs> son Wifey was like, yo, bring it down over here. No, no, stop that. Yo, man. chill. Nah, nah, nah. Lock that shit away, bro. Nah. What you doing? But this right here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You put yeah. it right here? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, 
yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. So big shout out to Massage Gun. If you ever want to get a Massage Gun, I suggest you get one, man. Brand Star, I appreciate this right here, man. This right here, it, it, it works very well when you you have a, 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 a you want a massage. You have a, a tight thigh or something, your back hurting, whatever, man. So yeah, joints get crazy. creative with it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, also, big shout to Positivity Water, always on the chicken as well. Salute, salute. Um, two Las Vegas women arrested after the allegedly hiding cash and Rolex watch they stole inside their vagina. Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, you know, we, you know, <laughs> being from Miami, not from Miami, but living, we, we're Floridians now, but Miami, some of the baddest broads on the planet, the biggest finessers. Hmm. See, the thing is this. We always talk about this on my channel, some of the dudes that I rock with. We always talk about not leading with your wallet. Now, in Miami, if you ain't got a Lambo, you ain't got a truck, you ain't got a, a Cuban, you ain't got bottle service and shit, you ain't popping. But hmm. those are the dudes that are the marks, right? So when a woman sees you, yeah, she acting like she interested, but she really looking at you to see if she can get your ass. A lot of dudes are waking up with their rollies gone. They forgetting where they came from. They got, they're getting extorted, et cetera. And now <laughs> women in Las Vegas, they, they got arrested for trying to smuggle the niggas cash and his rolly in their vagina, man. This is what I'm talking about. And I remember, shout out to Cardi B. I mean, she said it, so it's no secret. She used to talk about how she used to drug niggas. You know what I'm saying? And these are, these are the, our, our, our little girls or the girls. These are our role models. They're role models. But, but, but. At the same time, my nigga, I said it on my show today. If you get finessed by a woman, you ain't see the signs of the seduction. You got finessed. It's not the woman's fault. It's the man's fault, man. Yeah. So, and, you know and, what I'm and, saying? You got to take accountability. Yeah, and you don't got to remind me because, uh, you know what I mean? I, I, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. getting finessed by a, a female and getting drugged by a female... And I'm not even going to completely blame myself because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a DJ and, and people always want to celebrate and give me a drink. <laughs> and I take it. You know what I mean? Sure. But I learned after that situation, I learned to never do that shit again. I don't drink no more right now. I don't. Maybe occasionally with my wife, whatever. But it's true. You know, because now there's all types of uh, ways to finesse somebody when you get them in that zone. I heard yeah. so many stories from people driving to the next county or to the next, <laughs> you know what I mean? Going on Alligator Alley. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, girls Yo. girls uh, 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 slipping Mickeys or whatever, at, at helping the other person at the bar. You know what I mean? I, I heard so many stories. And... You know, Yo. it, it's unfortunate that, you know, these things are being done to good people. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's unfortunate. And, you know, we're not condoning drug use. Right. But, you know, you got to be realistic when we were when we were younger. And I'm not speaking for apps. I'm speaking for myself. You know, nowadays you can't even trust recreational drugs. I mean, now you don't know what's in the drug. You don't know what's in it. You don't know who's using it. So nowadays it's like. Drug use, unfortunately, is a huge coping mechanism. And a lot of guys, because they want sex, they want female attention, they want to let their, their little head lead, they're willing to overlook a lot of the red flags that, you know, a woman may possess in order for a chance to get with the broad. A lot of these dudes get too drunk, they can't even get it up. They're too coked up, their dick can't get hard. They don't remember anything. They blacked out. And yet now they want to press charges. So at the end of the day, man, you know, you got to be real careful how you move out here. But women are not the only ones that are being drugged. Men are being drugged, too, because they're leading with their wallets. They're paying with bottles or they're wearing the flashy watches. They're doing all that shit. And all they're really doing is attracting the wrong type of attention. All you are is a trick. You are mark. And at the end of the day, if a man doesn't lead with his wallet, He's not even going to qualify for a woman because a woman will really turn away a man if he if he knows better and can spot her from a mile away. If I see a bit a, a broad trying to finesse a nigga, she's trying to finesse me. I'm not having it. It's kind of like going to the strip club. 
you ain't see the broad dance, she was asking you for money, and I don't even see her dance. So at the end of the day, man, you got to be real careful out there, man. Don't take shit for granted and trust the people that you're with, man. Don't don't take shit that you don't know yeah. from other people. Yeah, you're absolutely right. A man boarded a Brooklyn train making anti-Mexican statements and then punched a 14-year-old in the face. Okay, what kind of man was this? Was he white? Was he black? What? what nah, prejudice? I think he was. I, <laughs> nah, I don't know the full details, but this happened in New York. I believe it happened today. Um, he, he, I believe he was an African American man. Listen, man. <laughs> so basically, in a nutshell, just like I've said, the, the story is relatively sketchy. But this guy on the subway in New York was, you know, just speaking racist remarks about, you know, Latins, Mexicans in particular. And he struck a 14-year-old on the train, of, you know, who was Latin. Just out of nowhere, boom, stuck, struck the kid. We living in real crazy times right now. I mean, there's chaos going on on the West Coast. You know, there's a whole bunch of thugs breaking down jewelry stores. They loot and they rob. And like, it's the purge outside, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, everything's more expensive. Meat, gas, inflation, all that shit. You look at the news, everybody's quitting their jobs. The, the rise of unemployment is going up. Biden's not giving out the stimmy checks anymore, et cetera. So niggas are getting desperate. But at the same time, bro, with everything that's going on with the with the variants and COVID and shit, people are under the impression that the world is coming to an end. So now people are vocalizing the shit that they're thinking about in their head. And now they're striking you. Remember a couple of months ago, Epps, when women, when men were trying to talk to women and if the women were not responding, they were slapping the women, punching the women because they weren't getting a response. Yeah. You got to be careful outside, bro, because things are going to get worse in terms of uncertainty. Mm-hmm. And you could be at the wrong place at the wrong time, my nigga, and somebody just come at you for no reason and shit because you look like somebody that they just don't like. You got to be real careful outside, man. Shit is crazy. Uh, speaking about wrong place, wrong time, and people that don't like. Um, this past weekend in Doral, Florida, in the parking garage. Yo. Listen, man, if you guys don't know Miami, and if Bro. you do know Miami, <laughs> you know Doral is a new a new hot spot for people to go party. They don't want to go to South Beach no more. They don't want to go to Wynwood. Doral is a beautiful place to go chill. You go to the Improv. Doral City go, Place. Yeah, you go to Improv. You go to a couple of clubs and everything. Yo, Sib, what up? No breaks. <laughs> Just a regular day in New York. I believe peace, it. No peace, breaks. peace, peace. Uh, Jess, I see peace, you. Sir. Direct DJs. But uh, in Doral, you know... Okay, and I want I want I want I want to know your take on it, Av. So Bro. they having an argument back and forth. Girls are involved, trying to uh, 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 stop the situation or grab the guy, but the guy keeps on going towards the towards the guy that he's fighting with with no shirt on. And um, you know, this is a this is a, a good uh, minute and a half tussle back and forth. And then the other guy, you know, backs up a little bit, pulls out a gun, and the guy, Bro. the guy start, the other guy started running with the no shirt, started running, and then and the homeboy fired off. Now, is that an act of self defense or is he going to jail for pulling out that weapon and and and, and... my G? You know, you and I, we're not, you know, I'm not a professional. And you know, you and I personally know similar situations of people that we know personally mm-hmm. that have had these gray areas, man. That's real tricky. Mm-hmm. Now, Florida, for those of you who, who guys who are not in Florida, for the most part, to stand your ground law where you can carry concealed weapons, et cetera. And for the most part, if you're not, if you don't have a weapon, you should, right? Because most people have them. And and right now, you ain't got to worry about the, the older shooters like, like me and you. You got to worry about them young kids, right? They watch the rap videos and all that shit. So to sum up what Epps was saying, there was a fight in Doral City Place in the parking lot. It started off with two uh, with a bunch of females. Now, the females, under my impression for the surveillance, I think the, 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 the boyfriends of the girls decided to get involved. So now... One of the boyfriends on the stairs, right? So on the stairs, and he started to lose. So it started to get out of control. The guy backs up, like Ev said, and pulls out a gun. Before he starts shooting, the other guy starts to run. So now the other guy's facing this way. So now I'm the guy holding the gun. I'm not facing you head on, Ev. You turned your back. Now I'm shooting you. Yeah. That's not self-defense, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. not self-defense because it could have been 
But there was a second, a five second delay before he started shooting. Mm. The guy shot the guy in the back, and I think he's going to jail, man. And then, like I said, me and you, we know people that have been in situations like this, and they still, you know what I mean? So, homeboy, so homeboy did get hit. Yes, he got hit, bro. He got hit. Yeah, I saw this shit on WSVN. He got hit. Mm. And at the end of the day, man, you got see this is what I'm talking about with everybody and shit, man. Cooler heads have to prevail. I know we all like to go out. We like we want to be entertained. We want to escape the nine to five. But you got, and it, it sounds like an old man talking, but you got to be careful, man, and really try to avoid beef because beef ain't no more with, with the fist. This guy shouldn't have gotten involved. He could have restrained those broads, but instead he wanted to fight somebody else mm-hmm. and he decided to shoot. Now he may throw away his life, man. You got to be real careful outside, man. With, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, it's, it's crazy, bro. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, big shout out to Bernie in the building. Bernie, we see you, homie. Peace, Bernie. Um, that is a punk action. Word. What's up with Kanye West uh, allegedly hired a photographer to snap photos with Julia Fox? <laughs> Boy, he, he, yo, he. Yo, listen, man. First, first buying a house across the street from Kim Kardashian and this. Chill, like, my what, nigga. What is he, what is he, what is he trying to do, man? Like. Chill, 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 my nigga. He's trying, listen, man, I'm a big Kanye West fan, man. And you know, <laughs> you said something to me a long time ago, man. You really kind of helped me, you know, understand. Absolutely, y'all don't know. Epps kind of really behind the scenes helped me understand this whole celebrity shit, this, this, this social media shit. Yeah. It could be cap, my nigga. It could be cap. But long story short, bro, Kanye West allegedly hired a photographer to take some crazy pictures of his new love interest, Julia Fox. Now, for those of you who don't know Julia Fox, she, she's an attractive woman. She was starred in that movie with Adam Sandler on Netflix called Uncut Gems. Uncut Gems. So now we saw the Drink Champs episode where Kanye was like, yo, I want to save my family. I ain't get the divorce papers yet. So everyone was applauding him because, yo, you want to fight for your family? Fight for your family. Fine. Yeah, yeah. But now looks like Kim ain't having it. She wants to move on. So now, in order in order for Kanye, allegedly, he tried to make Kim jealous by doing an elaborate, take this broad out on several dates and, and have all these pictures sent out to all the media outlets. And Kim's <laughs> response, bro, was a classic. Kim, Kim said, listen, she's okay with him dating Julia as long as she's, he's, um, you know, I can appreciate him dating. Uh, I'd rather him date a, a, a fan than a hater. So basically, Kim is saying that Kanye's new girlfriend is, is, uh, is her own fan. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I hope it's Cap because he's a genius, but that nigga played himself, my nigga. I mean, I think he played himself, you know what I mean? But that's Yeezy, bro. Uh, last but not least, I didn't get to follow up on this, but um, I, I had, you know, wanted to make sure that you 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 checked on, um, you know, uh, George Floyd's four-year-old uh, granny's shot while sleeping in her bed on New Year's Day. This was a yeah. This was a while ago. This was a while ago, and you know, Epps and I discussed this briefly, and we we were not certain. Like <laughs> we were not certain. We you know, it was like, was, is this real? And apparently, it's real. So again, this is what life is not fair, man. George Floyd. We already know the guy who kind of ignited the Black Lives Matter Lives Matter movement, where the police officer had the guy on his neck, the knee on his neck, mm-hmm. allegedly. His niece, his four-year-old niece in Houston, I believe, was shot while laying down. You know what I mean? Now, some people are thinking it's a conspiracy, right? Because of the the verdicts regarding, you know, George Floyd and all that shit. Other people think it's just an act of God. It's just karma and shit. Who knows, man? At the end of the day, man, (laughs) when it's your time, it's your time. And as Mm -hmm. cliche as this shit sounds, bro, you really have to make the most of every moment that you have. Don't let your days fly, fly, um, you know, pass you by. When you hit 30, years go by faster. When you hit your 40s, it goes even faster, man. Yeah. Set goals, write them down, accomplish your goals so you can feel good and make the most out of your day, man. Because you never know, you know, when, when somebody you love leaves, man. Mm-hmm. Miami D3, I see you. Housekeeping by Lisa was Peace, popping. peace, peace. Uh, my man AJ in the building. Um... Could it be true that uh, uh, could it be true that you know the young Dolph murder suspect is identified as a snake in his crew? My nigga, see, 
This is what we talking about. And it's like, I don't want y'all to think that we we bitter and shit. We talk about this is real shit. Like, so now these rappers talk about, yo, this is my shooter, this is my shooter. Like, so now we me and you and a crew, you introduce me as your shooter. But unfortunately and ironically, this nigga did turn out to be his shooter, bro. It's like this is where the saying comes. Allegedly, allegedly, this suspect was a nigga in his crew. You know what I'm saying? And they say keep your enemies close and keep, you know, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. It's a real thing because people that love you, sometimes that love can be is hit is, is covering up jealousy, bro. And you could be a good person, Epps. You could be giving, you could be doing shit, man. No matter what you do, Epps, people are gonna hate on you. That's why you got to keep your circle tight, man. And every day at midnight, everybody, this goes for everybody. It don't matter if you know the nigga for 20 years or one year. You said it. The people that are going to support us, Eps, are strangers. Right. Friends and families are not even supporting us, bro. I get more love from people I don't know than I do know. And it's okay. You got to deal with that. But at the end of the day, man, you have to be careful and hold yourself accountable and keep your head on a swivel, man, because you never know the people that are close to you may want the love that you get from other people. And that's why they ha- they're hating on you. People don't hate people. They usually hate the way other people feel about that person. And this mm. thing, unfortunately, shot young Dolph, man. So, you know, he's in custody right now, so we don't know the verdict just yet. So let's see what happens. That's crazy. Uh, last one before we get up out of here. Shout to Fresh yeah. Kid. I see you. Uh, Lady D, I see you, Lady D. Uh, Peace, wo- Lady D. Woman who made 200000 from farting in a jar's hospitalized with gas issue oh what the hell <laughs> ladies that's what we doing now you we, we farting in L- drugs listen man listen bro you got nothing i did else a to show do? got nothing else to do farting in drugs right now ladies listen my nigga yo it's the same thing with the broad on twitch man she was selling her bath water allegedly she was selling her bath water she was making money b that's like that's like me buying a star in the sky. You go into a company and buying a star. Oh, that's your star, AV, right there. Oh, which one? That one? Yeah, that one. That one. Ah, Dang it. Ah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yo, yo, niggas. Sim, yo, Sim said she all gassed up. <laughs> she gassed up. Yeah. So it could be cap, but at the end of the day, a lot of these bros on these OnlyFans and shit, these cam girls, man. There's a lot of weird dudes outside, man, that like that type of shit. <laughs> Let me open this shit. Ooh, smells good. <laughs> you niggas are nasty, B. I can't do it, my nigga. <laughs> Selling farts, bro. <laughs> Making money. So this is what I'm saying, Epps. Can't, we can't blame... Yo, listen. We, we, we clown a lot of women and shit for what they doing, but I don't blame them no more, bro, because <laughs> niggas are buying farts. So, Epps, if I walk up to this broad in the street and she acting crazy and I'm looking at her, she don't look at me like I'm crazy because she got 200 bands from selling farts. I can't compete with that, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. Oh, bro. man. Uh, and this uh, is a crazy world, but y'all got to stay focused, man. Keep grinding. Like Funkmaster Flesh, women don't get gas. <laughs> Yo, it's Nash. time for us to get up out of here. Yo, Sydney, yeah. I see you. Shout to beat me up, Scotty. I see you. You know we had that uh, GC every Friday night. Yeah. yeah. DJ Epps holding it on South Beach. Uh, shout to my man DJ, Mr. Famous. The whole crew out there at GC Game Changers on Friday night. Wow. Uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be at Oba Lounge in Fort Lauderdale for Taco Tuesdays. Mm. Meet me out there. You know we're going to turn up out there tonight in Fort Lauderdale. Um, and don't forget, as a mental health counselor, will be with me on Thursday. Thursday, right, man, it's gonna be crazy, man. Um, you know, we we gonna talk. We gonna we gonna we gonna talk about health as well, baby. Health yeah, you is got well. it. And everybody, salute. man, thank you for having four on my page, on my live, salute, on salute, my four. show. Shout to the Black Ink Crew. Shout to Caesar. Shout to everybody over there, man. Four. Thank you, King Buckley. I appreciate you, AV. Yeah. We're going to do it next Tuesday with DJ you EFN. Already know. DJ EFN. Yeah. Drink Champs going to be in the building next Tuesday Let's with DJ go. EFN. Word, right. word. So, everybody, man, thank you for hanging out with us, man. Number one DJ show. Not because I said it, because you guys made it happen. Let's go. DJ Epson and Friends, Monday to Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern. I'll be on the turntables tomorrow setting up the turntables on fire, healing the world, telling Booger. 
to turn up the bugger. I see you, right, 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 Jaguar. Right, right. I see you, girl. Direct yeah. DJs in the building. All right, yo, AV. Let's go. Alpha villain. I see you next week. Peace, peace. All right, peace. Have a all right, good baby. Night, everybody, peace. Good out. night, everybody. Peace.